Okay, well, she's telling us to stop, I believe. Um, something about a good battle, I think, and... Yep, builder parts, which I'm going to stick on there in the hopes that they increase my stats the way they did in, uh, the way they did in Breaker 3. This really isn't bad, it's just a, it's, it's for sure a lateral move at best from Gundam Breaker 3. There are bits about Breaker 3 that I think I liked a little better. I think this one is actually going to do better for me in English, though, once I know what's going on. Okay, now, let's uh, take a second here and look at the customized uh, settings so I can get a couple of things done, and then we'll go into the other single-player scenario. Okay, setup mode. Um, and it kind of hangs here a second, too, before it'll let you move your cursor. There we go. Let's see. The beam rifle and saber, the only hand weapons I've got. The Zaku is a downgrade. We'll skip that. Body's the same. Jim and Zaku are both, uh... Both downgrades. The Dom, however, is a small upgrade, so we're going to have very large silly legs. Jim Pack Pack, there's a shock, it's a downgrade. Builder parts. Um, I'm sure there's a way to specify what location they go in, but we're going to shove a V antenna on that. And... Let's see. Okay, so that comes from the Gundam... This, whatever it is, comes from the Gundam Mark II, it says. Yeah, and they do have stats. That, I think, ups the V-Fin ups lock-on range, and this upgrades damage, so we'll be definitely be putting the left and right things from the Gundam Mark II all the way down the pike. And I just wish I knew what they... Oh, it's the Musha Gundam Mark II, and it's those horns that are on my backpack. Okay. Oh, and you can also see the V-Fin sticking halfway out of my backpack, so I'm sure there's a way to the placement of this and probably it's not okay squares are moved so it's not that um triangle is on off let me see if I'm right about what that is uh no okay you can actually you can actually just use these for show and turn on their turn off their special ability that's kind of neat I just need to uh, be able to figure out how to make them... Is it L3? No, L3 seems to change my pose. R3 changes position. Center pad. Center pad is... Uh, I always forget what the, what the center pad is. But, uh, yeah, the center pad is uh, what you do with that. So, okay, got two frame EX skills. Uh... Supreme, uh, uh, Supreme Resurrect, and Skill Progate? Okay, or Progate, or one of those. Uh, currently, Head Vulcans, I think, are the, uh, that EX skill. Parts Repair, uh, Boost Breaker, and, uh, J, uh, JE Full Boost, which... Oh, jet engine, yeah, because there are jet engines in the Dom's legs, technically. Uh, beam saber off of the backpack, and shield strike off of the shield. At least shields give you spe uh, special abilities in general now. Also, I, you can change your frame EX skills, I think, once you actually have more. You can change frame types if you have any desire to. Um, gunner frame... I might go with the... Uh, Okay, yeah, just from the top, it is the balance frame, which I've leveled up once, the striker frame, the gunner frame, the... Yeah, the enchant frame. I have no idea. And the search frame, which... Um, let's see, the, the EX skills. The striker frame has... Dead End Impact and Protect Burst. Gunner Frame has Hyper Megasonic Cannon and Hyper Big Gun. Um, the Enchant Frame has 
definite, definite jamming and electric wave, which I, I can't remember which mobile suit has an electric wave, but I'm almost certain there is one. Uh, the search frame has range search and uh, shot lance. Shot lance trage? I'm not sure. Trage? I have no idea, but I think I'm going to try the striker frame and do more damage. Let's see, does it have any frame abilities I can equip? Not at level 0 or level 1 or whatever it is, but yeah, let's try the striker frame. And I could paint, but let's just do the next scenario here. That's the wrong button. Back out. Oh, it's still loading. Yeah, the now loading and autosave icons kind of meld into the background for me. I kind of miss them very easily, but single mode. Okay, scenario two, and that's all this has is uh, scenario one and two. One for a pair mission and one for a three versus three. And now we've got, let's see, Iori wants to uh, talk to me about something. Something about the teacher. Uh, I'll tell her not to worry about it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to, okay, something about funnels. I have a feeling that these kids generally talk in Gundam references, so... Oh god, we've even got like a Persona-style like date countdown in the corner. Oh boy. I hope there's not a little time limit on this, but I have a feeling it's just for effect. Let's see... No idea, but more about Gunpla battles, of course. Oh. Seems like they have a soccer field. Something about the ground, an event, and an event. Yeah, so I I think I've been invited to an event, so... I'll have to go stab some things. Oh, well, they've got a, uh... They've got a Gunpla Battle Pod here, which looks suspiciously like a gym head, kind of. Uh, something about a diorama. And... Scratch me. Okay. But yeah, maybe I'm wrong about the parts damage thing. We'll take a look during this mission, but uh, the last time I tried this, I swear my parts were just getting, you know, damaged. Maybe they were just getting knocked off, but I swear they were getting, like, actually destroyed. Okay. He is Shogo, and I'm pretty sure he's a jerk, because he's got, you know, he's got jerky-looking eyes, so... Okay, yeah, I think he's shaking down one of his classmates here, so I guess we're going to have to beat him up. In Gunpla Battle, of course. Okay, his team, I think, is Laplace's box. Which... I have no idea what I'm about to tell her, but... I think I'm... Okay, and here comes... Uh, here comes Yui to uh, stop me from doing whatever I was doing. Oh, no, to stop her. Him rather. Uh, no. Akatsuki Gundam. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a three-on-three -three arena battle coming up, so... Yep. Okay, let's take this to the battle room, etc. And if he wins, she has to wear a... Uh, let's see. I think if, if he wins, she has to cosplay for him because it's... Ah... Well, because he's a creep, so... G-Cube, three on three. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm just going to go through this, because... Okay. Let's go. Alright, let's do this. Yep, she's got a team. Oop, and here's our announcer. And her name is Rinko, just uh, just like uh, okay, uh, Shakuno Rinko, 
Rinko being the name of uh, Say's mother in Gun and Build Fighters. That's definitely not her, though. Okay, gunpla battle, ready go. All right. Now, I forgot to reverse my camera. We'll go through this anyway. I don't want to go through the cutscene again. I can skip it, but we'll just go with it. I managed to deal with it last time, so. Yep, Gunbray High School. Launching with my, you know, ridiculous hip waders of legs here. Although bell-bottomed hip waders would kind of defeat the point. Oh well. Fashion is not my fort anyway. Okay, and it was giving me some kind of tip about parts that of course I can't read, so. And in we go. Hopefully. There we go. Okay, he's got Gilgug arms. Uh... Gilgug Jaeger torso, I think, in different colors? Or is it... No, that's not a Gilgug Jaeger. I don't know what that torso is. It looks familiar. I'll have to try and... Let's see. Do you uh, know the uh, G-Cube rules? I sure don't. Okay. Three on three. And quests come up, and whoever gets the most points for quests wins. So... Okay, we just have to we just have to quests. Okay, there's the uh, cube in question, which I think will occasionally uh, open up and dump you some fun parts. I got no idea, so we'll just go with it. I know how to make I know how to do the stabbing, so we'll do the stabbing. Okay, and yes, our uh, class rep is slightly nuts. Come on. Okay. Okay, let's let's get in there and do some fighting. Yeah, see what I mean about those, you know, lurches as it loads things. I'm not fond of that. You know, I'm ho again. I'm hoping. Ooh, beam javelin, gimme. We're going to switch to that right now. Or Twin Beam Spear, excuse me. Parts out. Yeah. Could I switch to that? It's not letting me switch to that, and I got my legs knocked off while I'm, uh... While I'm, uh, trying to, uh, get it. So, and I have no idea where they went. Or did they just get out and out destroyed? Because, again, I think some parts can just be destroyed. Um, is that my legs over there? Yes, those are my legs. Can I have them? Thank you. Yeah, I really hope the final game runs better than this, because it really needs to. Really, really needs to. Can I please turn on this? There we go. That's what I wanted. That's one quest clear. One point for us. Okay, I got a beam gun. Let's see. Current quest, destroy four Gundams. So. Man, a lot of parts on the ground there. Whose legs are those? What kind of legs are those? I want to know. Oh, rising Gundam legs? Sure. Could I please put them on? Let's see. I think just about every part I had just got knocked off of me, including the new legs, so... I'm just going to shank things here. Yeah, so... Yeah, I have... I don't know about this. Again, hopefully the final game will be improved, at least in terms of the lurchiness. And so let's see if I can get some parts on me here. Let's see, red... Yeah, I think it's red because they have low hit points, is what that means. Either that or they belong to a teammate, I'm not really sure. But I've got Zaku legs now. Yeah, the Gundam quest failed. The enemy has two points. We may lose this. But we've got seven minutes to find out. 
Oh, open ten containers is one of the quests. Let me break off from this and go do that. Yes. It's probably not a good sign that the quests that don't involve fighting are the ones that are uh, most appealing to me at the moment, but there we go. Okay, my arms have leveled up. Well, let's see what Burst Breaker... Oh! That's now just a standard move you can do. That's pretty good. There's some Gan legs, if I can have a second to put them on. Oh, we're up to five points. Let's see. Parts repair is not unlocked at the moment. I'm not sure why. Okay, go again in a uh, cannon Johnny Raiden uh, type Sakukai. It won't let me use them. I think there might be a minimum... And I just exploded and lost all my parts. Great. Okay, and it looks very much like there might be a minimum uh, frame level to use some of these parts, which... Yeah, there's a lot going on here I'm not super fond of. Looks like you come back with your default parts whenever you get killed. Um, but we're winning at least, I guess. Um, but yeah, there's a lot going on here I'm not sure I'm okay with. We'll find out, but... One, two, three... Let's see, new quest to destroy Gundams, it looks like. Let's see, let's see what this one is. Ah, sh uh, Shield Strike is L1 and Circle. Oh, there's that jerk. Yeah, let's kill him. Come on. Got him. Looks like you get points for taking out a player, which makes sense. And there's another one of those nice lurches while it loads something. Yeah. Oh, are those gun cannon legs? They are gun cannon legs. And I know they're arms. I clearly saw legs there. Of course, you know, in Mission 2, where I, uh, it is not even giving me time to actually stop and look at things and think, so that's pretty great. I don't... I don't understand, really, what is up with this, because let's drop that and that and just go with this. Um, don't want the beam gun, don't want whatever that is. I do want those red bits there, which are gun cannon arms. Sure, I'll take them. Put them on. Okay, it looks like up, you have to hold up to put something on if I'm understanding what this thing is trying to do, uh, Okay, and I swear it said something about Crow's Line is the uh, special ability. Oh, Close Line! Of course, Close Line. Okay, we got the points for the GAN. Yeah, 21 to 2, we've got this. Okay, there's a Beam Saber combo. I do kind of like that the EX part skill for something is now just a uh, Beam Saber combo. Or, you know, a combo with that specific special weapon or whatever. But I I don't know about this. This has got some stuff going on that I'm going to be interested to see how it works in English. Maybe see some other mission types, I hope. Because, yeah, I, I'm really hoping there's more to it than this. But, let's see, we got crackers, which we can now equip as builder's parts. So, you know, always good to have some grenades if you can manage it. Uh, 100 frame EXP. New parts acquired. The only new parts acquired were Dom Arms and Gun Cannon Arms. I do like the Clothesline ability, though, so that's something. And, yeah, sell off the spares, and we've got plenty of GP. So. And that's, that's what you can do with the demo in single player. I'm not really in a place to do multiplayer right now, so... I'm, I don't... Nobody else I know is on, so... Okay. Okay, he's upset. He lost. He's throwing a fit. 
Uh, it's, it's not bad enough he's a jerk. I mean, poor sportsmanship, too. It's, it's terrible. Hey, says somebody. Okay, well, yeah, we got her out of that jam. And let's see. Favorite Gundam series are 8th MS Team and 0083. Okay. Okay, so class rep seems to categorize people by what series they like. I'm not sure if she likes Thunderbolt or if uh, she doesn't, but... That is such a great soundtrack on a series I'm really not fond of. Like... Okay, she's upset about something, but yeah, those are the two missions that you can do in single player... Um, multiplayer, I'm not sure what the missions are. I haven't tried it yet, like I said. But, that is for another day. But, quick match, create team, find team. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, that is the new Gundam Breaker beta that is available on Japanese PSN, if you want to give it a shot. I'm hoping that it's just for one thing, you know an earlier build with not all the kinks worked out in terms of the load times. And then the other thing I'm hoping very much is that it's not... It, these are not, like, the best representative of what the game's going to be like. I would like there to be more arenas than just this one room. I would like there to be, you know, a little bit more variety in missions, the ability to, like, actually, you know, wander around an area for, you know, in a specific direction. I like... Basically, I would like it to be more like Gundam Breaker 3 than it is letting on. But, you know, they, they made new for a reason, so we'll just have to see how that actually works out in the end. And hopefully we'll find out next week, because I, thanks to Guang Star, I do have a copy coming, so... You know, we'll give it a look and see what the final game looks like in a language we can understand so we actually know what we're doing. But that is going to do it for today's uh, installment of New Gundam Breaker. We will be back soon with more stuff, so until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!